This episode does not contain discussion about leaked information. We only discuss officially released information and briefly acknowledge that leaks are happening. Stay safe and enjoy the episode. We are just days away from the release of Tears of the Kingdom, and we're going to discuss everything we've learned so far with the final trailer and the gameplay previews all across YouTube. Welcome to the Switch Clicks Podcast, episode 135, recorded on May 2nd, 2023. My name is Nathan, and today I am joined by Dakota. I'm here, even though I am not the biggest Zelda fan, but I'm probably the second biggest out of our group. <laughs> You're big enough for me to consider you one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, just to recap, as I mentioned earlier, um, we had a bit of a hiatus on Zelda content because... Uh, Mario movie content kind of gone away. Um, and in this time, we saw the the third and final... Well, I'm not, not the third, but the final pre-release trailer was released. Um, we kind of expected it to be somewhere on par with the 2017 trailer for Breath of the Wild. Um, Dakota, what what's your verdict? It did not beat it. it not <laughs> yet, personally, not even close, but that sax solo got close. That saxophone was the redeeming factor of that, I gotta say. There, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing more important than that saxophone. And other stuff that was revealed, um, there was a uh, commercial that was released, or that was leaked like shortly after this trailer was showcased. Uh, Nintendo quickly removed it, and then they re-uploaded some, like a 15-second version of the same com- commercial, but it didn't include like any of the gameplay. It just featured the people there. Um, and then they released it again, but this time it was like, I think, 30 seconds long, like a few seconds longer, and it had more gameplay footage, and it showed us a couple of the overworld bosses. And then a few weeks later, we were we were given a bunch of, like a bunch of YouTubers were given the opportunity to actually play the game for themselves, uh, two separate segments of the game, and uh, they got to showcase some of that gameplay. Um as well, we also learned that uh, Matthew Mercer is confirmed to be playing as Ganondorf again. Um, as we all know, he's he was Ganondorf in um, the fan series There Will Be Brawl, um, and it was a, it was a pretty monumental reveal. Even though I think ninety percent of the internet knew that it was going to be Matt Mercer. Yeah, maybe we can boil on that a little bit longer. Matt Mercer, um, I like him. He's a lot of anime characters that I do like. He's in JoJo. He's Levi in in Attack on Titan. Uh, (laughs) And he's a good voice actor. I just don't see him as Ganondorf. He's like too iconic of a voice. So I just hear Matt Mercer. You just hear (laughs) Matt Mercer. And you you don't think Ganondorf. You just think Matt Mercer. No, I think I'll have to hear more because he really only said like two lines of dialogue. Yeah. Uh, But I don't think his scream in the trailer was good enough <laughs> you think like the other actors did it like the other lo- the other languages did it better well i don't know about the other languages i think like in my mind the twilight princess ganondorf his like voice barely a voice more like drugs, <laughs> but, you know, his deep voice <laughs> is yeah that's like peak voice so i i wanted something a little bit graggly and not old, but powerful. Matt Mercer, he's powerful, just not powerful enough. Not like I don't know if that's Ganondorf. a hot take or not, but <laughs> I mean, yeah. Once again, we only heard like a few things from him, but you might be you're you're kind of right. He his voice doesn't really give off the same level of power as the Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Um, yeah, not so sure he, if you want to say Ocarina of Time, but Ocarina of Time is kind of mixed. Yeah, it it's, it all depends on how much dialogue each of these characters have in the actual game. If Ganondorf is giving speeches after speech after paragraph, then Matt, Matt Mercer, he was the perfect person to choose. But if he's just doing like, hmm, ha, hmm, <laughs> and then, you know, the occasional <laughs> sentence, then I don't know, yeah. you could have probably chosen some someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of confident they'll have um, a bit more voice acting this t- this time around. 
Um, yeah. They've had a lot of time to test out voice acting. Uh, six years. So, or seven years. I'd, six, seven, seven years. Yeah, and considering out. the game looks a lot more, not linear, but not like back in time, you're looking at the past kind of way. Yeah. You know, it's it's a ever-evolving gameplay, I guess. No. Yeah, ever-evolving mm-hmm. storyline through gameplay. That's about right. Yeah, something that actually progresses along yeah. smoothly, rather than lots of filler in between. <laughs> mm-hmm. At least I hope uh, it's that way. <laughs> yeah, I th- we all hope it is. I don't think I don't think anyone wants to live through the emptiness of um, Breath of the Wild again. <laughs> and collect 900 Korok seeds. Yeah, right. this time it'll be 900 tier fragments. <laughs> right. Um, hate to disappoint you, but Korok seeds are back. <laughs> I mean, we saw Koroks. That didn't really confirm Korok seeds, unless in the gameplay from the YouTubers oh, they showed something. Yep, yep. Gameplay from the YouTubers. No. Korok oh, seeds are back. Man. Are they different at all? Or are um, they just the, same? the puzzles are more evolved to feel kind of more like full-blown side quests, I'd say. Like, there are some Korok seats that actually feel like a regular side quest. If there's still 900 of them, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> well, we don't really know what they're used for in this, this time around. Like, I'd assume, okay, maybe inventory, but there probably is going to be something a little better than receiving a giant golden poop at the end. Yeah, maybe, maybe Ganon killed a few Koroks. Can kill a few Koroks here and there. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, in other, I th- I guess everything else that they showed in the gameplay footage, like the various YouTubers that showed gameplay footage, uh, it was more or less just an extension of what we already know. Like we we already saw a bit more about the four abilities that they showed. Uh, we saw a bit of combat. Um, those boss bacoblins that they had in trailers, we finally got to see a bit of them in action. Um, we also got to see a bit of how they traversed in the skies, uh, in terms of flying. Um, they used like these, uh, what do you call them? Rocket boosts that you get to attach to any floating, floating like vehicle or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then you can fly over to the next island. Um, but then, you know, those rockets are temporary. So the other things that, that you're running off of are these, are the fans that they showcased and that runs off of battery power and battery power is basically, at least from what I can tell, it looks kind of like the stamina system, um, except this time around, it just runs for the vehicles. And once your battery runs out, you know, you start falling out of the sky. Um, and this battery could be upgraded. You could also get an external battery that you can attach to your vehicle, and then that could act as it uh, as its own power source. You know, it runs out, then it goes back to your your base power source that runs out, and then you start falling out of the sky. Mm-hmm. With the uh, gameplay, they also, I believe, they also showed the the ability to save vehicles or save builds. Yep. Um, I didn't really watch too much into it. If like you can just summon materials, or if there's materials around that equate to it then it builds it but um i know there's a way to do it i only yeah, saw so, like them mentioning it i couldn't find yeah. any gameplay yeah there was no gameplay for the saving vehicles but they definitely did mention it but they what they did showcase was uh vehicle parts that you could store in your inventory um yeah i did yeah see that, that was very convenient they also had some they had also had a cooking pot that you could store in your inventory as well mm-hmm. which and saves a lot the, of time the menu for building stuff, it, they're using the same menu as like switching between swords and weapons and uh, shields. And I don't think that's going to be very efficient, honestly. After like you play through the whole game and you're still finding stuff, you're going to have a lot of stuff to go through. Well, at least they designed it in such a way that it's more vertical now. Um, mm-hmm. It looks definitely a lot more cleaner than Breath of the Wild, but I can yeah, at least see where the problem is. Yeah, I can definitely see where the problems are going to start coming in once you get like a million items in your inventory. Yeah, unless there's a way that you, if you just tap it, then the menu shows up. But if you tap and hold, then like a, a grid shows up, then that'd be a lot easier. That'd be interesting, actually. Um, but I guess uh, for some of the quicker inventory stuff, like the abilities, they actually gave us a dial, like a, a circular menu 
from mm-hmm. other Zelda games. Um, this thing is going to save a lot of time. Yeah, oh my gosh. and the confirmation of an amiibo power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to assume amiibos. it does the same power, but still. I mean, we already know that the amiibos are going to give us those custom paragliders. Mm-hmm. Uh, very, very nice designs. Um, I don't or- think there's anything specific that they released uh, about amiibo other than the paragliders, but I have to assume, yeah. okay, it gives you a chest, you get a bunch of stuff, and maybe some parts in this game. Maybe, yeah. It might just help you out, you know, give you a little boost in gameplay. Um, we actually don't know what's what's happening with stuff like the Epona and Wolf Link Amiibo. Yeah, the Wolf Link one, I, I, it's hard to say if it'll come back or not. Um, but Epona is likely to come back. We did see Epona in the game trailers. Mm-hmm. So, I wonder what's up with that. If it's going to be like... Like some someone that like Epona, you could find her in the wild, or if it's going to be Epona as an exclusive to the amiibo again. Yeah, and it looks like uh, you can use horses in your builds, so yeah. it's not like they're getting rid of horses. Yeah, they're they're pushing even further. They're letting you make entire carriages out of um out of these out of the abilities, and you could actually do some scary escort missions. I'd say. Yeah. With this much, with this amount of freedom, it's guaranteed that like day one, we're gonna get some Skyrim glitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are gonna go ham with this, with this, uh, with these abilities. You know, they already went ham what, four years into the speed running of this game. Yeah. All of a sudden, and now all you need is a rocket, and you're at the final boss. <laughs> yeah, you just need like two two bombs, and then you gotta get a couple of rockets, and boom, you're already done. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I forgot to mention they patched some of the glitches. Like, um, I think they, I think the YouTubers tried doing the horse whistle sprints. That's been patched. No um, surprise. There's no bomb rune, as far as I can tell, so you can't do the bomb, the bomb impact launch thingy. Speedrunners will find a way. Speedrunners <laughs> will find a way with the new items, which I think it's gonna be easily broken, like day one. 100%. Yeah. Hey, listen, we have to assume you like Zelda if you're listening to this episode. Have you heard of Zelda Creator Con? It's a digital Zelda convention happening June 9th to 11th. See linktober.com for more details. That's L-I-N-K-T-O-B-E-R dot com for more details. I think it'd be if they're not going to make a third game... Like, I can't believe I'm talking about a third game, but if they're not going to make a third game, it'd be interesting if they, if by beating the game, or, yeah, from beating the game, you unlock all the stuff from your Sheikah Slate, and then you can get all of the above. Oh my gosh, that'd be actually very fun. Just get like, That could be a DLC thing, too. The experience, it's like having basically both games. Mm-hmm. One. That'd be really interesting. Right. Yeah, be, it would be kind of cool to have that as a DLC, and then you can make some extra dungeons that uses everything. That'd be really cool. What if I, I'd be very happy if they did that? It it tie everything together nicely, and we'd get yeah. we'd actually get something very, very, very much not a sequel, not a DLC, like not a Breath of the Wild DLC type of thing. Mm-hmm. Nintendo's just like write that down, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think what well, other things we learned about this game, uh, the fusibility, unfortunately, it's you know it's limited to fusing two weapons. Um, you can't make like a super long five fused spear or something like that. Unfortunate. But you can unfuse weapons and then swap with new parts. Hmm, so that way you can. It's not permanent, and that means you can you you probably outlast durability for who knows how long. Yeah. Um, other than that, I think some of the abilities we've saw, they were just more like evolved versions of Breath of the Wild runes. Um, nothing too, too substantial, I'd say, besides crafting vehicles. Um, trying to think here. There was something in the gameplay footage. I don't want to Google anything. <laughs> no, yeah, it's probably safe not to Google because there's some spoilers. Yeah, speaking of which, um, unfortunately, this game was 
like the full game was spoiled, like full game was leaked online. Um, yeah. This was probably because of the collector's edition getting leaked because uh, the collector's edition has the actual physical game. Uh, this was leaked, I think, on 4chan, unsurprisingly. And then whoever had that copy probably dumped it and then released it online publicly. And uh, now everyone's on high alert. Um, so uh, for anyone who's still listening, who's listening to us, uh, stay safe. You know, me, like use whatever you can, whatever means necessary to stay off of YouTube, t- uh, Twitter, social media. Um, use Chrome extensions if you can to blacklist certain words, keywords on your browser or blacklist certain YouTube channels. Um, play, don't, don't blacklist us, please. <laughs> yeah. Keep us up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this, it's a very, it's a very uh, dangerous environment out there now because of the, of the leaks. Um, I think this is probably the last straw for Nintendo. Like, I kind of feel bad for them. Uh, Mario movie leaked. Um, OLED Switch leaked. The art book leak. And now this. Quite a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, I guess that's pretty much everything that we've seen so far. Uh, Dakota, did you pre-order this game yet? Uh, I have not. You have not. And you're planning to get it physically? Yes, I'm one thousand percent getting one thousand percent. So, not even a question. <laughs> not even a question. Uh, I have a confession to make. I, even though I prefer, I prefer physical a lot. I actually caved in and purchased the Switch Online vouchers because Ooh. I, because I did some calculations and I found out that I could get one game, you know, for regular price, and then the next game I get for 70 percent off yeah if I you could think about it that way too there's yeah. it's either that or both games are like 20 percent discount something yeah like that. and like uh because of that i like i took the 70 the well 90 canadian dollars price point into consideration mm-hmm. um yeah considering yeah, it is- the full game would be about 101 dollars canadian if yeah. after tax <laughs> Yeah, if I paid, if I purchased it in Ontario with a thirteen percent tax, that would be incredibly high. Um, yeah, getting digitally was just way cheaper for me, so I caved in and got the mm-hmm. voucher. Uh, plus, I didn't really have to pay much for uh, Switch Online because uh, we're kind of in like this family sub- subscription. So, yeah, it just barely chipping anything. Um, at that point, it's an actual seventy percent discount, and uh, mm-hmm. that's that's ultimately what got me to buy this game digitally. Um, I've heard some people had it preloaded on their Switch. I haven't got it preloaded on mine for some reason. Yeah, but, I don't um, think preload releases until like two days before is yeah. usually the practice. Yeah, probably. Um, and thankfully, and I think the only Nintendo... reason that I have not pre-ordered it is because all of the online pre-orders are not trustworthy, and they do not. I can order it, but it'll come like either the Saturday day, or the Monday. Day three, day five of release. <laughs> yeah, which sucks. I can. It's yeah. way more convenient for me to just drive over it, and it's a big release, so they'll have copies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they don't re- they don't they don't go out of stock in person. You basically just have to wait for them. Maybe wait like a few minutes, and then you know the people can come up restock it very easily. Yeah. Um, I remember doing that for Pokemon Legends Arceus. So it was very easy to get a game even though like maybe 10 minutes ago the walmart shelves looked empty mm-hmm. um yeah um otherwise yeah i guess there's nothing else we can look at the digital game they did recently update the website uh, i think originally it said it was going to be like 18.2 gigabytes or something like that mm-hmm. very very high but i think recently it went back down to 15.9 gigabytes yeah, I oh, saw sixteen flat. Yeah, sixteen flat on certain websites, and I think I'm not sure. Yeah, it depends on the region that you're looking at. Some some websites, some regions say fifteen point nine, some say sixteen. Either way, I'm glad I have enough space on my Switch. Um, yeah, somebody at yeah. Nintendo was just like, "Yeah, hmm, I have some extra time. Let's just try to optimize this more." <laughs> yes, thank you. For, yeah, just like that's a that's a really good that was a really good decision that they. That they made this game does not need to be that big 
Unless it does. Unless <laughs> it does. <laughs> we don't know something. Maybe the DLC is two gigs. Yeah, and they already made it. <laughs> That's a good point. This game does run off of DLC ideas, so maybe they already yeah. have it done. And we cannot talk about DLC yet. There's no uh, way. <laughs> zero indication. We don't even know. They didn't even announce DLC at this point. You're, you are laughing if you think they're not making DLC. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a guarantee. But yeah. there's also nothing to talk about for that. Because we don't that even know. We also get games. cool new trailers at the Game Awards again. <laughs> uh, maybe. Well, I it's mean, definitely going to be nominated for Game of the Year. It's like already pre nominated. 100%. Pre-nominated. 100%. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is going to be game of the year. But, you know, I'm kind of scared if this game has to go up against like Spider Man 2 or. I was I scared think. about uh, uh, EA's Star Wars game, Jedi, Jedi, Survivor. Jedi Survivor. I'm not worried about that now. <laughs> uh, Hogwarts Legacy come, come, kind of come, comes to mind because people destroyed that game at launch and then they actually loved it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a month of talking, and that's it. Yeah, it. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. If I, I am praying that this game is actually as good as it as it is, um, and it's been a long journey. You know, it's we've been waiting since 2017, basically. Yeah. When did they confirm it? They confirmed it 2018. 2019. Uh, well, I guess informally, like interviews and whatnot, they said 2018. Sure. Like Mr. Al Numa said that. They're working on the next game. 2019 was when that trailer came out. The mummified, dehydrated Ganondorf trailer. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a long journey. Like six years basically. Six yeah. years and six years and three months. So I'm, I'm glad that we're finally here. Last minute delay incoming. <laughs> oh my gosh. For for a game that's already been leaked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it was leaked. That was actually a prank. Uh, game. Uh, this is the real one. <laughs> this is the real one. <laughs> we gave everybody a fake game. <laughs> <laughs> that would save a lot, but that'd also be very, very interesting. Yeah, very costly. <laughs> very costly for sure. They print out the fake copies of the game. Oh dear, that's that's gonna be a whole. That's gonna be a whole interesting story. Thank you for joining us in discussing everything we've learned so far with the final trailer and gameplay previews across YouTube. We'd love it if you could follow us on Twitter and listen to future episodes on Spotify and iTunes. Join our community Discord server to continue today's discussion. And we'll see you next time on the Switch Clicks Podcast.